everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. It was big news last week. Most of you have probably heard about it already, but it's just too cool not to talk about. For the first time ever, scientists have detected gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time that radiate from sources like binary star systems, supernovae, or black holes, to name only a few possibilities. Their existence was predicted in 1916 by Albert Einstein as a consequence of his theory of general relativity, which he had just published the year before. Gravitational waves were indirectly confirmed in the 1970s, but they had never been directly observed until now. Last week it was announced that gravitational waves had been detected by LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, a project created by Caltech and MIT for the purpose of detecting gravitational waves. The waves detected by LIGO were produced by two black holes, both with dozens of times the mass of our Sun, which merged together some 1.3 billion years ago. The study on this historic first-ever observation is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Next up, researchers are hoping they can improve the study of neurological diseases and the drugs being developed to treat them by using mini-brains. Mini-brains are three-dimensional collections of brain cells created in the laboratory, which can mimic some of the structure and functionality of an actual brain. Many brains are grown from pluripotent stem cells and at their full size are just big enough to be seen by the unaided human eye. Most importantly, many brains can be grown in batches so that thousands of identical specimens can be produced at once, which makes them useful for applications such as drug testing. Useful and less expensive and also more humane, since many drugs which would otherwise be tested on animals could be tested on many brains. And since they're grown from human cells, researchers expect the results of tests using mini-brains to be more accurate than animal testing in determining the effectiveness of a drug on humans. Sounds like a whole lot of good news to me. The research into mini-brains was discussed over the weekend at the American Association for the Advancement of Science Conference in Washington, D.C. And finally, a new study from UCLA may have identified the most effective method for preventing school bullying. As teachers, administrators, and parents have come to recognize bullying as a serious issue, anti-bullying programs have become common in schools across the globe. Unfortunately, not all of them are effective at actually preventing bullying. But there is one, a Finnish program called Kiva, which has been identified by a new UCLA-led study as one of the most effective anti-bullying programs in the world. Kiva works by focusing not just on those doing the bullying, but on bystanders. It encourages students who witness bullying to intervene and to be supportive of the bullied. The results? According to the UCLA study, Kiva reduced the rates of bullying, especially for students who were repeatedly bullied, and also reduced depression and increased the self-esteem of students who had been bullied. Students in schools that didn't use the Kiva program were 1.5 to 2 times more likely to experience bullying. Kiva is being used in Finland and throughout Europe and is being evaluated for use here in the United States. An anti-bullying program that teaches students to care about each other and to help make the school environment better for everyone. And it works. Yes, please. The study is published in the Journal of Consulting and Clinical Psychology. Gravitational waves are detected for the first time a century after Einstein predicted them. Mini brains enable more accurate and humane drug testing. And schools in Finland may have found the world's most effective program for preventing bullying. That's the good news. You did so good. Hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.